He's fresh back from Sochi, and he's got a gold medal to boot. Sage Kutzenberg absolutely dominated the slope-style course and took home the first gold medal of the 2014 Olympic Games. And guess what? He's here now at HuffPost Live. What's up, man? <laughs> How's it going? Congratulations, Thanks. first of all. Thank you for having me. You Thank you. You just got off a plane. You got to be tired. Yeah, I'm so jet-lagged right now, man. I've been, like, waking up at 4 a.m. every day. I can imagine, man. Yeah. <laughs> How's your body feeling? It's tired. Uh, it's definitely uh, taking a lot of beatings the last couple of weeks, being in uh, Sochi and just practicing. And glad to finally just go home and relax tomorrow. Oh, man, you didn't want to stay, stay out there for the rest of the games? Uh, I wanted to, but then come here, do all this stuff, and then go home. And my family wasn't out there, so I really want to just go see them. No, I, I, I get it, man. It can yeah. be only out there, man. But you won the first gold medal of the Olympics, man. That's a big <laughs> deal. That had to be an awesome feeling. Yeah, it was crazy. I, like, I didn't even like kind of realize it at first. I just... I won. I was just freaking out so much, and uh, it was just like a dream almost. And then everyone's like, you won the first medal. It's just like, oh, like, this is crazy. It was so much to take in all at once. So it was just everything was hitting me at once. Like we were driving down to the award ceremony, and I called my dad, and I was on a Russian phone. So he's like, hello? It, was, it had to be 3 in the morning or something in Park City. So he's like, hello? I'm like, dad, it's Sage. Sage is on the phone, Sage is on the phone. Had, like, the whole family there, and uh, it was really cool just like driving down the award ceremony, talk to my, talking to my parents, and they, I don't know, they were losing their minds. Wow, I can imagine. It, yeah. a, a moment of pride for your family, but also for the country. I mean, we yeah. all watched you, and we're so impressed, and we're so excited. And did you know that you were going to win? Do you go into the Olympics like, yo, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to win this one? Honestly. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not one to just go there and uh, start making too many claims. I definitely I knew I had a run that could do pretty good. And um, I just wanted to go have fun and snowboard and uh, make sure we made it a good, uh, good show because it's the first slope style, you know? So yeah. I want to make it a good show. And for everyone watching, especially back here in the U.S., like you said, it's like the whole country's behind us. And the support that, like, it's just like so much adrenaline when you start seeing like in between runs I was just reading like tweets and everyone's like the USA is behind you like go get them and like when you see that stuff it's just like a different type of adrenaline that you feel and like because snowboarding is such an individual sport when you have so many people behind you and especially from a place that you're from it's just it's unreal so all the support I don't know if everyone knows but they they definitely help well you talk about support there were people behind you in all, all sorts of ways not just the people cheering you on but yeah. there were some organizations that really helped make sure you got there yeah uh, especially uh, like USSA is a um, I'm on the team and uh, a lot of uh, a lot of the people that work there have been helping me throughout the years especially Bill Enos they got one of the best coaches on the US team and he was just, I, he was there for me every step of the way. Like, I almost didn't even want to do contests at one point this year because I was just, it was so much. And um, I don't know, it was just like so much was going on in the qualifiers. And there was canceled events and just courses that were not up to par all the time. And, and I was just like, kind of just like, I'm so over this right now. I just want to like take a break. And he's the one that was just like, man, you got like, we like snowboarding loves what you're doing and uh, really made me just stoked again. So having all that support through them and, and especially Bill Enos was so cool. Yeah, that's awesome. Then you get there and these courses are, in some people's estimation, not yeah. so hot. <laughs> yeah, it, was, it got blown out of proportion a lot because uh, we got there and uh, the jumps were a little bit too poppy. Like you, went, you were going high in the air. You were getting some, a lot of air time and the yeah. landings were pretty flat. So... They fixed that in like a day or two, and uh, it, after that, the course was awesome. It was like one of the best courses of the year. So the snow was cool. Yeah, snow, and the snow just kept getting better. Like for us, we love slush. So like when it was, it was like beach weather there. It was like fifty some odd degrees <laughs> or something. I, you could people were wearing t-shirts, you know. Wow. So Yeah, but then at the top of the mountain, it was like powder. It was like Alaska mountains, you know. Yeah. And at the bottom of the mountain, where the slope style was, it was like slushy, awesome conditions for slope style. Wow, that's pretty awesome. Short yeah. and white. Pretty tough loss. Yeah. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, no, it's like, uh, I think it's just a lot on his plate, maybe. You know, he came and he wanted to do both. He bailed out of slope style, and then um, just the pipe, I don't think, was up to standards with a lot of people. A lot of people weren't really stoked on the pipe, so it, was, it definitely came as a shock. Yeah, no, I, I mean, especially because he was sort of the face. Yeah, no, like, for sure. I mean, he did the whole Russia calling video about, you know, him learning all the tricks to win and then just couldn't put it down, but I mean, like, 
Dude, it's a lot of pressure. No, it happens. It's a man. lot of yeah. It happens you can come to back. everyone. You yeah, can always come back. Yeah, he's yeah, he's he's uh, he already claimed the claim to think he's trying to come back for 2018. And you'll so. be back for 2018 for sure. I would love to. Man, that's yeah. awesome. Man. Yeah, I would love to. Let's talk about Olympic sweaters. That's been something that's been coming up a lot. You'd be surprised. As much as people talk about the games, they talk about these ugly ass sweaters, man. Are they as ugly to you as they are to me? You know what? They're incredibly comfy. Yeah, that's we, a great answer. When we, uh, when we got them, we were like, wow, these are a lot going on on these. Like, definitely just like, these things are pretty aggressive. And then we put them on, and we were just like, why are they so comfy? Oh, oh, like, they're, they're so, so comfy. Nice. Yeah. They start looking good to you. Yeah, yeah, it's like, yeah these things are tight, actually. <laughs> I'm down. And then you have everyone wearing them. And, uh, yeah, I know Christmas sweater parties are be going down next year for oh, sure. Oh, for sure. Before you go, there's a rumor that I want to get your take on. Uh, Jamie Anderson, a yeah. U.S. teammate of his, obviously said said something about the app Tinder at Olympic Games. <laughs> she said Tinder in the Olympic Games is at the next level. Did you have that experience? <laughs> I actually did not. I, uh, I don't have a Tinder, but uh, everything was everyone's like hyping up the uh, Olympics of like everyone is uh, on Tinder and like getting down. But I think at the beginning, no one's do anything because no one's competing. So I think towards the end it just gets That's when the Olympics pretty ha- I think, action starts. I guess that's when it happens. Rumor on the street is that's when it goes down. See, that's why I don't know why you didn't stay. I mean, <laughs> what's the point of winning a gold medal if you don't stay to the end for the action? I know, right? I'm blowing it. Exactly, so to speak, yes. <laughs> Oh, my God. Yes, we're here all week, folks. That is a gold medal. Can I see it? Yeah, yeah, you got to wear this thing, man. Dude, this is awesome. I'm better than, like, a rapper now. They, <laughs> they got chains. I got I, gold medals. I can't believe rappers wear stuff that, that's heavy all the time. Exactly. It's, it's heavy. Yo, I my neck is hurting right now. now. Yeah, I respect them a lot. For I'm an Olympian. Chains. You don't want this back, do you? <laughs> no, you can see You can take it. Yeah, you get it's another one in 2018. Yeah. <laughs> man, it is good to see you. Thanks a lot, good man. Good to be here. Pleasure having me. Sage Kotzenberg, ladies and gentlemen. Mark Lamont Hill. Gold medal, Olympic anchor, (laughs) signing off.